Welcome to Shy Sin773. Thank you so much for checking out my video. For those checking out my video for the first time, I just wanna say welcome in. Thank you so much for viewing my video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, I would truly appreciate it. For those that have been here the whole time and all of my new subscribers, I just wanna say thank you so much for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. They truly do go a long way. Today's video is going to be on three different fragrances I have from two different fragrance lines. These are both uh, niche, smaller um, companies. The first one that I wanna talk about is from Matthew Maleg. If you're not familiar, Matthew Maleg is a perfumer that's out of Canada. Um, his fragrance line has been out for a while now. I know that these two fragrances are from 2020 but um, I ended up doing a blind buy because purchased these on maxaroma.com. If you haven't ever gone to maxaroma.com, typically what happens is they'll send you lots of little discount codes for fragrances that you normally would have to pay for full price for. Um, overall, this was a very, very good blind buy to me. So one of the two fragrances that I have um, is called Honey Deer. So Honey Deer comes in this very nice bottle. I think uh, he paid a lot of attention to detail. This right here is like a little bit of a, a leather uh, strap that goes around and then he has the wax for the Maleg. Um, and the fragrance itself comes in a coffin like box where it sits in kind of like hay um but this fragrance overall let me go ahead and tell you the notes too uh the notes for this fragrance include musk honey civet sandalwood rose and castorum so with those notes i was kind of thrown back a bit because I knew this was gonna be a musky fragrance and I am definitely into musky fragrances, especially as the weather is starting to turn a little bit. So today it's in the 70s in Chicago. Um, it's been going like, I'd, I'd say, uh, somewhere between like the 70s and the 80s now. So this is perfect because you're getting that wind. So with musky fragrances, typically get you a lot of good sillage. This fragrance is a definite sillage monster. So as you wear this fragrance, it starts off, which I've sprayed this spray strip. Uh, I think I sprayed this, what, like 20 or 30 minutes ago. And actually I can smell it from here, but I like to smell a little bit closer because I'm actually getting more of the honey. So when you first spray this, it's very, very strong. In, in the musky department. It kind of, um, it kind of sits very strongly. So if you're not into musk, this is gonna be a hard fragrance for you to wear, but it gets a little bit of that honey within the first five minutes, and then it'll start to get a little bit smooth. I don't necessarily know if I get the civet from it, but I do get like a floral aspect, which I'm assuming is the rose. And on my skin, this changes back and forth, which is something that I absolutely love. Uh, the transition is great on this fragrance, but I have to give it about 15, 20 minutes to really, really love this fragrance, like where the magic happens. So at first you spray it, it's like, okay, it's very musky. I, I get it, but as it progresses, like uh, once you get to your destination or if you hop in the car, you open the windows a little bit, it starts to kind of blow a bit. Um, I've gotten so many different compliments from this fragrance and it sits light yet it's very heavy. So doing somewhere around like the four to five sprays for me was 
great. Um, it was super heavy though. I could I could definitely fill a room and smell myself. So if you don't want to fill a room, like I'd say somewhere around two to three sprays works. Um, four to six will definitely fill a room. But again, this one is Honey Deer. The next fragrance from the line is going to be Golden Guy that I purchased. So Golden Guy, what really caught my eye were the notes. The notes included tobacco, liquor, spicy notes, herbal notes, and wormwood. Um, I'm honestly not too big of a fan of wormwood, but in this fragrance, Golden Guy is so good. It has this this beautiful calmness to the fragrance. And I'm thinking it's because of the tobacco and the liquor that's in here. It's just, it's it's very, very calming. It's almost as if, um, I don't wanna say a cigar or anything like that, but it smells like the wrapping paper of like a cigar or, and then, like tobacco leaf sitting on top of that and that being soaked in the liquor but it's so smooth sexy seductive this one is by far one of my favorites of the two the musk one is excellent but this one takes the cake for me again check this out if you want to but this one is golden guy the final fragrance that I want to talk about is from Dreamhouse Curio. Everybody that knows me knows that I'm a big Dreamhouse Curio fan. And this one is Blood Cherry Cordell. So this fragrance is a mix of cherry, chocolate, honey, cognac, caramel, vanilla, amber, and musk. That note breakdown is so crazy, but what do you actually get from the fragrance? So the fragrance itself up top, you get a big, big blast of like the chocolate and cherry. So chocolate and cherry is really going to be more predominant in this fragrance. And then as you get into the fragrance a little bit more, it's going to pop and give you a little bit of more of the caramel. Um, the cognac on my skin sits a little bit softer, but the amber and the musk really take this over as the fragrance uh, begins to, um, I'd say, probably get past the hour mark. Um, I'm getting somewhere around like the eight to 10 hour um, longevity on this one, but on my clothes, I can smell it. It's just when it's on my skin, it kind of dissipates a little bit faster, but you get a good two to three hours of strength and projection in this one. And then it sits a little bit closer, but I don't think you want this one to really blare too hard, but that cherry and the chocolate takes the cake on this fragrance. Uh, overall, an excellent, excellent fragrance from Vincent. Uh, this one is on the website. I know he has another fragrance that's new on the website as well. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll also leave all of that information in the description down below. But I just wanted to keep this one short and sweet. Thank you all for watching. Have a blessed day and take care.